Good evening. It is alarming. We spoke with a man who lived in Echo Park Lake and is now in temporary housing, and he says his story is an example of the housing problems in L.A. At Echo Park Lake, caution tape and a fence still cordon off the area, a remnant from the high-profile encampment closure last year. <laughs> One year ago, it was the site of a large encampment with around 183 unhoused residents. City leaders like Council Member Mitchell Farrell called the park dangerous. But Will Sens, who lived at the encampment for one month, called it home after losing his job in 2020. Right as COVID hit, so I was on the street without a job all of a sudden. Um, quickly found that um, Echo Park Lake was a good place to go to, to get supplies like food. But the park was shut down, citing safety concerns. It was a searing moment in, I think, um, the collective memory of Los Angeles. And that displacement was justified by politicians through the political claim that all displaced residents will be in stable permanent housing within a year. UCLA researcher Ananya Roy tested that claim by following the residents and monitoring data from the Los Angeles Homeless Services Authority, or LASA. And after one year of tracking... Our findings, as you know, are pretty dismal. The UCLA Luskin Institute's report shows out of the 183 residents, only 17 ended up in long-term housing, 82 disappeared from LASA's radar, and 48 are waiting for permanent housing. On top of that, seven people have died. The shelter and housing resources are simply not there in Los Angeles. So people are being shuffled. Including Sens. He was offered temporary housing at the LA Grand Hotel downtown, still waiting for permanent housing one year later, exhausted with the city's process. Uh, they don't have it covered. And where is all that money? Where is it? It's not, it's not matching up. Things are not matching. The data is not showing what actually happened. Council member O'Farrell denies the claims wholeheartedly, saying, quote, it is beyond absurd to claim that Echo Park Lake, where people were living in squalor and filth, in an environment that included rampant open-air drug use, at least one drive-by shooting, and at least one machete attack, reported prostitution, reported trafficking, and four deaths, was somehow more humane than living in a safe, secure, managed environment. O'Farrell says all of the resources were given Given to the unhoused residents. But Sens says the data tells a different story and believes the UCLA report is eye opening. It's not. And when people see that, um, if I'm hoping that that will, will be all it takes before people start like stepping forward and be like, no more. The UCLA research team says they plan to continue to monitor these sweeps to see if people are receiving housing. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Fox 11 News.